Hey YouTube, I just wanted to show you what I made this morning. So I made this line um, for a fuel pressure gauge uh, to go in between the two throttle bodies. So this is your passenger's side throttle body. Here's your feed line coming from the fuel pump. What I made was this line here. So I have an adapter here, a straight fitting here, piece of hose, 90 degree fitting here, um, eighth inch pipe thread for the gauge here, obviously the gauge. I put another 90 here, um, another piece of hose. I put a 120 here and then uh, an adapter uh, going into the throttle body. So I used two adapters, one going into each throttle body and then a couple different uh, fittings. I'll show you, um, or I'll put up a list of all the parts that uh, I used to, um, to make this, if you want. Um, I actually made, made one the first time um, without the air cleaner on there. And then I went to put the air cleaner on and found out it didn't fit when I put the lid in. So I had to extend uh, this gauge all the way out uh, to give me enough clearance when that air cleaner lid came on. I, I, I'll show you what, uh, what I did when I'm done. But, uh, so I just wanted you to see that uh, normally you would have a, a steel line that runs out of one throttle body and into the other. Now, the only way that I can adjust this fuel pressure regulator correctly is to know what the, the gauge is, right? So when we get this thing fired up later, I'll go ahead and I'll put my adapter under here, adjust this fuel pressure regulator. Remember, uh, in an earlier video, I showed you that I knocked the plug out so I could adjust this. So... Um, so, but the only way you can adjust it is obviously to know your pressure. So I put a 15 pound gauge. We'll probably run it somewhere between 12 and 13 PSI. And here's what it looks like with the, uh, lower half of the air cleaner on there. Um, and uh, but I, I had to move it a little bit because the upper air cleaner or the cover uh, kept hitting. So, uh, but that's and that's how it looks when the engine's all together. Air cleaner's not really bolted down tight, but you can see now that I have just enough clearance there that I'm not touching anything on that uh, on that gauge, and I can still see it and and. Uh, Obviously, the only time I really need to adjust it, all this stuff is going to be off. But I think I'm just going to leave that set up there uh, rather than go back with the other pipe. It cost me like $60, I think, in fittings and gauges and stuff.